Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another video on my YouTube channel, Mr. B does Electronics. So, do you have a Moto Z with a JBL Sound Boost? Because this is a very intriguing little phone, which was released way back in the 2020s, 2021, and it has all these innovative mods to it which you can stick to the back of it like this like madness and it has got pogo pins on the back to make connection it has got moto mods like this JBL speaker this like this projector and this power bank and even a 5G module or something like that so I was able to get my hands on one of the Moto Z2 Play and an accompanying JBL Sound Boost version 1 in 2023 in India and it has got this plagued little problem which you will find when you're scouring the internet that the sound volume goes low when you increase it past 50 percent in this video i'm going to address that problem and i will also share how i fixed mine which also had the same problem so let's get on with the video so this is the setup i have set up a sound level meter uh, which is also on the watch over here i will just start it and it is currently off that is why it is giving zero first I will play the music on the phone itself and then I will just plug in the JBL sound boost so let's get on with it so as you can see the sound is increasing as I speak louder and louder so it's generally working I guess so let's keep it down and start the music. So now I will plug in the JBL sound boost. So as you saw, it does make a huge difference to slap this on the back of the Moto Z from the stock earpiece speaker, this tiny speaker over here to two large drivers over here with a huge volume. So let's not waste any more time and open this up and show you how I resurrected this piece from its damaged condition. So let's get on with it. So now let's open it up. So these two are the new drivers which I had to fit using hot glue because as you can see the thickness there is not or not a lot of thickness to work with and if I open this front cover up you will be able to see how little space there is and then this goes on over on top so there is not a lot of space to fit in big drivers so you will never be able to replicate the bass or the sound signature of the JBL speakers itself I will show you what is left of the speaker driver itself it is completely disintegrated into this and the magnets itself are stuck over here so if you want to get an idea of the size of the speaker this is the magnet 
of the JBL speaker. And this is the size of the magnet of the aftermarket speaker. So obviously there is no competition, but there is also no replacement, at least over here in India. There is no way to get the original JBL drivers or any other driver small enough to replicate the sound signature and also to fit in within this small of a space. So these are the best speakers that I could get my hands on at a reasonably cheap price because after all these are all bought refurbished and I didn't want to spend too much money on fixing these up. So I will link uh, the speaker drivers that I brought the website in the description below and also you will be able to see uh, The speaker driver that I brought the website. I am scrolling through it right now uh, It's reasonably very cheap and you can do it without even soldering because if I will focus over here these are actually Connectors these one is here and another one is stuck right over here so these are actually connectors what you can do is uh, what I have done over here I have soldered the wires but you can twist the wires and then tape it up also so this is a fairly easy thing to do if you have these lying around or if you plan on buying these if you find these it may or may not be plagued with this problem where the sound volume goes low once you raise it up beyond 50 percent what i was able to find i will also link the forums that i talked about in the description below is that the amplifiers over here goes into some kind of protection mode so what i found when i opened this up is that all the speakers the membrane the rubber membrane was totally disintegrated so that is why it was vibrating a lot it was brrr, that sound it makes when the speaker driver uh, is blasted or it's torn the membrane is torn that is why it was going into the protection mode and i want to sh share that these uh, there are some letterings over here the specifications of the driver they are very hard to read but what i was able to decipher is that these are eight ohm speaker and these are given in the description as 32 ohm speaker but i don't think these are 32 ohms i at least i don't think they are uh, they may be eight ohms i also bought uh, two other speakers which were also on the website over there i will show you but these didn't work at all see this type these can't handle the power at all so these are of course discarded and another thing i want to mention is that there is a black sticker over here i will just uh, insert an image of the jbl sound boost over here you will be able to see jbl sound booster black sticker is over here to peel it off it's very tough to remove it without damaging the sticker because it tears up and it folds up and once you try to stick it again it doesn't stick flush and if it doesn't stick flush it it will be raised and it won't make a contact over here so i discarded though that sticker because it was disintegrated and i stuck on some masking tape and i am planning to paint it black just to make it look good and then again it's working that's all i wanted to do so as there are no videos or no information suggesting any diy or home solution that you can do other than replace this i try to make this video as informative as possible Again, everything will be linked in the description below if you want to attempt a similar repair on a JBL sound boost at home. So I hope all of you really enjoyed this little video. This is a bit different from the videos that I usually do on this channel that is make DIY things. I will always go back to those but at the moment I have a fair, a fair few devices which needs to be uh, repaired or which uh, the battery needs to be changed the display needs to be changed from some uh, weird problems that we cannot find in the internet like this one which i just happened to find out by accident and by trial and error that changing the drivers actually uh, makes it usable once again so if you like this kind of video and the way the channel is heading uh, subscribe like share and comment also urge your friends and families to subscribe too uh, 
and in the next video I will be addressing this little phone which I have uh, which in which the display needs to be changed if the phone turns on yeah as you can see the display needs to be changed I will make a detailed video on the process on how I did it on the cheap and with minimal instruments and equipments because I will be uh, justifying the name and the description of this challenge that is do it on the cheap at home without any equipments or anything in the DIY fashion so if you don't want to miss this little repair video again subscribe to the channel and I won't take up much of your time I will catch you on the next video peace